Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to combine um, different images into one image uh, by using a little technique that I've done. I've had a lot of requests from people asking me to make more videos. Uh, truth be known I've not been very well the last year so um, I'm back now, I'm okay and uh, I can show you some little techniques to go forward and especially now that we're all on lockdown. So this is one of them, the three individual images combined all together to make this actual end product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a lion and a cheetah and we're going to go to the first picture. It's already blacked out. So I'm going to go to the crop tool and extend that right the way out, making sure that the squares, the white is on top, so the black is the background what we're going to use for this image. Once you've clicked the tick, you should have your image which is all ready for the next one to come in. Go back to your line picture, go to select and select all because you want all of the image. Edit and copy. Once you've copied it, go back to the tab which has got your extension on with your cheetah. Go to edit and paste in place and as you can see now it's over the cheetah's head it's not a problem we can make sure we've changed it to the mouse so we can move him over here like that now his head is a bit bigger than cheetah's now a line obviously is bigger than cheetah but you want the image to be more um in line with the image itself what you've got so we're going to go to edit free transform by holding the shift key down, we can shrink this down slightly by holding the corner, but not too much, round about there. Tick, tick the tick at the top. And as you can see, you've got this bit here that's left over. I'm not worried about that because I can go to the crop tool again, just bring that in just to the line, tick that, and that's it. To finish off with the borders, so you get bordering like this, really is straightforward. Go to image, canvas size, and you've got your width. So we're going to change that to grey. I'm going to call it one, and height is one. Click OK, and there's your inner border. Go to uh, image again, canvas size. This time I'm going to go to, let's say, 7, 7, but this time I'm going to change it to white. Click OK. Let's have a look at that full screen. There you go. And that's all there is to it. Really quick, really easy, and really fun. And don't forget, like I've just, to flatten your image on the right hand side by right clicking, click flatten, and then it all becomes one. And then you just save it as wherever you want to save it. And there's your image. Well, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. All stay safe with this lockdown. I hope everybody's okay. Until the next video, bye for now.